important ruling the supreme court of india today held that direct evidence of demand of bribe is not necessary to convict a public servant under the prevention of corruption act and that such demand can be proved through circumstantial evidence a constitution bench led by justice s abdul nazir and also comprising justices v rama subramanian b r gavai a s bopanna and b v nagaratna said that the proof of demand and acceptance of illegal gratification can also be proved by circumstantial evidence in the absence of direct oral or documentary evidence however the bench at the same time underscored that the presumption of fact with regards to demand or acceptance of illegal gratification may be made by a court of law by way of an inference only when foundational facts have already been proven the bench had reserved the judgment in this matter on november 23rd today justice nagaratna pronounced the operative portion of the judgment in open court and i quote here from the operative portion in order to bring home the guilt of the accused the prosecution has to first prove the demand of illegal gratification and the subsequent acceptance as a matter of fact this fact and issue can be either proved by direct evidence in nature of oral evidence or documentary evidence further the fact and issue namely the proof of demand and acceptance of illegal gratification can also be proved by circumstantial evidence in the absence of direct oral or documentary evidence the bench further held that in the event the complainant turns hostile or has died or is unable to let in his evidence during the trial the demand of illegal gratification can be proved by letting in the evidence of any other witnesses who can again let in evidence either orally or through documentary evidence or the prosecution can prove the case by circumstantial evidence the trial does not abate nor does it result in an order of acquittal of the public servant the supreme court ruled further today the court further said that in order to prove the demand and acceptance the following aspects have to be borne in mind and i quote here if there is an offer to pay by the bribe giver without any demand by public servant and the latter simply accepts the offer and receives the illegal gratification it is a case of acceptance as per section 7 of the act number 2 if public servant makes a demand and giver accepts it it is a case of obtainment in both cases the offer and demand have to be proved by the prosecution as a fact and issue and number 3 mere acceptance or receipt of an illegal gratification without anything more would not make it an offence under section 7 or section 13 subsection 1 of the act to provide a bit of context for all of you back in 2019 a reference was made by a division bench to a larger bench upon observing that insistence of direct proof or primary evidence for proving the demand may not be in consonance with the view taken by many judgments wherein despite the absence of primary evidence of the complainant the supreme court had sustained the conviction of the accused by relying on other evidence and raising a presumption under the statute later the three judge bench referred this issue to the constitution bench for more information on this ruling you can refer to our detailed report the link to which has been given in the description box below please do check it out thank you amaratra ka bromic for live law keep watching live law for more such updates